Hello everybody, it's Michael V here with Hypertherm Plasma Cutting Systems and I'm here with Mr. Tim Bostwick and uh, we're going to talk about my 51 Mercury project. This is an update for it. Um, we'll start right here with uh, the grill. This is a grill I mocked up a little while back. This is off a 1951 Ford F1 pickup truck. And um, what I did was uh, I realized I was in over my head on some of the sheet metal work on this car. So what I did was I got a hold of uh, Tim and Gabriel. Gabriel's behind the camera right now. And um, they're going to be uh, helping me uh, do this the right way. So here's a couple things that we're going we're to talk about here real quick. Um, this is a traditional 50 style uh, radius of the, the hood corner. Um, whenever you do uh, uh, corners on these, these cars, it makes them look a little bit smoother. So I've got Tim and Gabriel uh, rounding all the corners is what we call it. So they round the corners here, round the corners on the bottom of the door. And then um, we found a, a little bit of a mess here with the chop. Tim's going to be fixing that. He's an expert in, um, in work, working on early American iron like this. Um, especially on these cars, he's been trained pretty heavily. And uh, the top of the door here was a complete mess. He uh, he's went ahead and fixed that and strengthened it up so it'll, it will hold uh, the glass and everything that it needs to hold the right way. And then these are always tricky to do. This is the wind wing window. So this has all been chopped down to fit the chop roof. And kind of moving to the back here, we've got a three window conversion. And this, this, uh, this is basically welding in the rear windows. And you have to form all this in here so the, uh, the, the windows will seal up. Um, the window and the door will seal up against this. And this has all been been smoothed and so on, so it'll it'll follow the body lines. And this is right where I got into into trouble. And this is where I decided to call in Tim and uh, and get his expertise here. You can see right here that this rear quarter right here um, is obviously a mess. And what's what we found, or what Tim was able to point out to me, and, and then we discovered pretty quickly was there's at least a half an inch of bondo right here. I call these a bondo foul. And what we what we discovered was um, the uh, the guys that worked on this thing before uh, obviously didn't have any skill level. And what they did was they they ran a, a piece of straight sheet metal right here instead of trying to radius it or form it to the body line. And then they used bondo to try to mimic and fill in the body line here for the radius, which that's that's a mess. This is way over my head. So um, what I did was uh, I I contracted with Tim and uh, and Gabriel here, and uh, I'm gonna have Tim talk a few minutes about. Um, what he did, to the, what he's going to do here, and how he's used the PowerMax 45. Uh, the PowerMax 45 is an American-built machine. Um, that's what Hypertherm, all of our stuff is made in America. As as this is, this is a classic 1951 Mercury American car. So we're kind of using that the American machine to American build our, our American car here. So Tim, just kind of talk a little bit about um, maybe with a three-window conversion and maybe some of the places where you use the PowerMax 45. Well, I used the PowerMax 45 to cut out this piece of sheet metal here. It was actually another piece of sheet metal that was welded on here just for a mock-up purpose that someone else did. So I just used the PowerMax 45 to take out all the little uh, spot welds because if you put, it has a real nice bit on there, it'll take out spot welds. And then uh, I just cut out the piece of sheet metal right here didn't take me long put it in the English wheel got my nice shape and welded it all nice and flush and did the same thing to the inside too I'm able to radius this real nicely so it's going to follow the body line and uh, we'll do some finish uh, finish body work on it and it'll look like it's supposed to be that way and then this is where the real problem is so you can kind of talk to him a little bit about what your plan is with that too Tim the plan is to actually reshape this wheel well opening and get rid of this conduit that somebody put in there and cut this completely off make a whole new piece going down here and French in the bumper all the way back to here yeah what I what we're doing here is this is a 1955 DeSoto rear quarter here with the taillights and I chose that because I like the way the taillight looks and it extends the car a little bit uh, a little bit makes the car look longer and lower and uh, when I put the uh, the rear DeSoto bumper on here um, we quickly figured out that there's going to be some major sheet metal work here, so that's what Tim and Gabriel are, are excellent at, and they're going to French that right in and make it look like it was supposed to be on this car. So with that, that's that's kind of an update for right now. We'll, uh, we'll bring you another update here in another month or so when we get a little bit more work done. And, and uh, I just wanted to say if anybody wants to get a hold of Tim, um, you can get a hold of him through his Facebook page. It's Tim, his last name's Bostwick, B-O-S-T-W-I-C-K. And uh, you can contact him on Facebook and ask him questions or, or, uh, or, or give him any comments that you'd like. So with that, hey, thanks, guys. I appreciate you uh, helping me with this and, uh, and, and working on the car with me. Thank you.